Hello everybody, how you doing? It's Jono, and we're back. Amazing, OnePlus, we're back. So I started this channel about a year ago when the OnePlus 3 came out, um, because we were looking at accessories and we were looking at screen protectors and it seemed reasonably popular. People seem to appreciate me spending all my money so they don't have to spend their money. <laughs> so, what we've got here, this is the first OnePlus video, we've got a bunch of the official protected cases. Now these you can get obviously from the official OnePlus website. I think they're about seventeen pound ninety five or US dollars. I imagine they're about twenty US dollars. And these are not the bumper cases, which are the slightly more expensive one. These are just the protected cases. So obviously we've got the carbon, we've got the sandstone, and we've got the wood effect. Now I will be honest, and I was straight away, and I'll say to you that I'm a little bit disappointed with these right up front. As soon as it came through the door, I was like, "Whoa, hang on, these are thin." What I mean by this is, in the past when I've had the when they've had the official OnePlus case, I've not uh, I've never bought it thinking it's going to protect the phone because these won't, guys and girls. Um, but these seem extraordinarily thin compared to previous year cases. They just it feels like if I, if I put too much pressure on it, I could quite easily snap this, which is not what you want in a case. Um, even if it is just you know changing up the look. So let's quickly pop these cases on. You can see what they look like on the phone, and then you can, you know, if, you, if you've been trying to figure out which case it was, it is you'd want for it to make your phone look a little bit different, then you'll know. So here we go with the sandstone. This is the traditional OnePlus look. Um, going back to the OnePlus One when I had my original OnePlus One, love that sandstone. The one thing I will say about this is I had this case last year, and the more you use it, the less sandstony it feels. It sort of wears away a little bit. So. It's one of those ones which it's I, I, I really I really like this case just purely because it makes me think you know, one plus one and I love that phone, but it does after a while it wears away. So whether it's worth spending the ninth, the you know the, the twenty pound, the twenty US dollars, the twenty pound, whatever, to get this one. These cases are reasonably easy to put on, but they're a bit more difficult to get off because of the clip nature. The wood one especially feels extremely thin. It honestly feels like if I put enough pressure on this, then. It would break. Well, what you have got in all of them, actually, just like, oh, you haven't got it in the sandstone one, the carbon, and then the wood. You've got this EVU Tech logo. So I'm assuming OnePlus have partnered up this year with EVU Tech, and I can't remember seeing this on any of the previous models. So this is potentially why they feel a little bit different. Like, honestly, this feels... I mean, it looks good, you know, the wood. Look at that. It feels nice. It doesn't really add a great deal of bulk to the case at all. And I'm fairly sure this will work with most tempered glass screen protectors. I will be testing them out in a moment on the official one plus five tempered glass screen protector, which we've got sat here. This one feels nice. It doesn't add as much grip maybe as the sandstone. It has a textured finish, but it doesn't perhaps feel as nice as the wooden ones from last year. So I'm not sure whether it is because OnePlus have partnered up with this with this accessory company. I'm not. I, I might be completely. I might be. Completely wrong, they may have partnered up with this accessory company every, every single year, but these cases do feel a little bit different compared to previous year's models. And then finally, but you know, not least, we've got the carbon case. This is probably my favourite at the moment. has a textured finish again, so you've got the carbon texture. Um, adds a bit of grip. Very little bulk, like I said. And it just looks nice. I, li I like the carbon finish. So there you go. You've got your carbon official case, you've got your sandstone official case, and you've got your, your darkish wood official case. Um, obviously the differences between the three. On these ones here, you've got the white sort of OnePlus logo embossed on it. On the sandstone, it's very much like the OnePlus one I had it, where it's not white, it's just sort of in there. It looks nice. I do like the sandstone. And it does feel thicker than the other two. So I don't know whether this one can perhaps be made to a specific design, whereas the other ones haven't, I don't know. Anyway, that's it. I'm glad to be back. I hope you guys um, can continue to watch the videos and ask me questions in the comments below. Yeah, feel free to hit me up on the forums, on XDA, on Reddit, whatever, if you've got any questions, and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, there will be a treasure trove of videos coming in the next couple of weeks as I wait third-party accessories and screen protectors. They will be coming very soon. Um, cool. So, uh, please feel free to obviously like the video. Please do so, yeah. Um, share the video with other people and uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more. So I will uh, see you next time. Goodbye.